Let's see how we can generate XRP Ledger account using XRPL account library. Before getting started with the code, let's look at the documentation. So here we have the link to the library. Let's open it in a new tab. So it's XRPL account helper to help generate, derive and sign. So let's look what are the methods available. So it has generate method which also has family seed, secret number and mnemonic functions which we will be using in, in our video right now. In the next video we will also be using derive which also has family seed, secret number and mnemonic as functions. It also has sign method which we will be looking at in future videos. So getting back to the editor. So first let's disable the internet because we are not even connecting to XRP ledger here. This is purely mathematical process, mathematical task to generate XRP ledger account. This generate method has three functions, family seed, mnemonic and secret. Let's first look at family seed. So this will generate an XRP ledger account with secret in the form of family seed, which means the secret starts with the with the letter S. Let's look at it. So the account type is family seed. The R address is here, newly created address. And we have a secret in the form of family seed, which starts with the letter S. Remember, this account is not yet active on XRP Ledger. If you go to any XRP Explorer and paste this R address, it will, it will tell you that this R address doesn't exist. So let's look at mnemonics now. So this would generate an XRPL account with with a secret in the form of mnemonic. So let's do one thing. Let's copy this R address and mnemonic. So this is the newly generated R address, which is not at active, by the way. And this is the secret in the form of mnemonic. We'll use these things in the upcoming videos. Maybe to derive the R address using the secret. Okay, so let me clear this. So let me generate one more address with the secret in the form of secret number. Secret numbers are in the form of eight rows of six digit numbers. So this is of type secret number. So this is the newly generated R address. Let me copy this separately. So this is the newly generated R address. It also has a family scene, by the way. So let's copy that. And the secret numbers. Okay, so we have two R addresses here. So in the next video, we shall derive the R address using the secret. In this case, using mnemonic, we will derive this. And in the second case, we're using family seed and, oops, what is this? So this, uh, this is an array of, of eight elements of eight rows of six digit numbers. So using this secret number, we'll derive at this R address and also using the family seed. Also remember, you can derive at R address using the secret, but you can't derive at the secret using any R address. It's only possible one way, that is from secret to the R address and not the other way. So in the next lesson, we shall take secret as user argument and output the R address. So let's remove this and import derive method. Also keep in mind that we are not yet connected to XRP Ledger and we are basically offline. So all these calculations are purely mathematical.